everyone uh let's see if everything's working all right good evening um doing a little something a little different tonight um we're going to be playing final fantasy 7 the original game um you're with me costa del mole aka mr fusion aka the older producer and recently on our youtube channel i put a poll out the um which final fantasy 7 um you guys would like to see me play i did mention that ff7 is probably my favorite game of all time um and that stands true till today i, I really am a fan of final fantasy in general um, but particularly FF7. Um, and so looking... Oh, ow, ow. Last time I checked the poll. Okay. Rather than show you sharing my screen, I'll show you. I put a... I put a poll out on YouTube. The... Which game everyone would rather see me play. And I think I checked maybe this morning. Um, and I swear that the original FF7 had more votes, but like the remake um, has an equal amount of votes as well. But um, just going off, going off the results from my my limited memory will um. We'll stick with the original for now, and maybe at some stage after I've completed the original, um, I'll go through the the remake on hard mode. I finished the remake, but I've never played it on hard mode, and unfortunately, I don't have a PS Five yet. Um, I don't think many people do actually, but um, yeah, so I'm not able to play the the integrate. Um, the new integrate um, game just yet, but hopefully next year. So f hopefully next year I'd be done with the original playthrough, and then as well as the heart the remake playthrough. Um, so by the time I'm able to get a PS Five, I'll be able to stream that straight away. Um, so setting up some stuff here. Guys, I'm so setting up some stuff here. Oh, sorry, I didn't notice the chat. How, how's everyone going? Hey, Kamal, um, shall I give you this pair? Is that a reference to Crisis Core, I think? Um, with the Apple guy, what's his name? Uh, Genesis? Not Genesis. Oh, sorry, I didn't notice yeah, Genesis. Is that a Genesis reference? <laughs> hey, Kamal. Uh, hey, Heather, how you going? Um, oh, and hello, God Gladiator 1. It's been a while. Um... Yeah, so oh, sorry, I guess I another reason why I'm sort of how, how's everyone going? Yeah, hey, come um, on. streaming at this time oh, is it took me a while to set up the stream. Crisis Core, oh, I think. Um, um, Apple guy, what's his name? Plus, yeah, it's I don't know. Sort of had a rough day today at work, so I thought I'd let off a bit of steam. Finally, get this stream. Oh, underway um and yeah well. we'll see how it goes um, so i don't know yeah so i guess another reason why i'm sort of um streaming at this time is okay it took me a while to set up the stream the stream plus so, yeah, it's, I don't know, sort of had a rough day today at work, so. Right. How about we give this a go, huh? Um, 
finally get the stream underway. Um, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. But I'm trying to. Yeah. So I guess another reason why I'm sort of. Rough streaming at this point is okay, you know what we can just go, huh? Just stream. Finally get the stream on the way. Um, and yeah, we'll um, see how it goes. Just trying to plus. How did this go? When I first played this game, I was blown away by the graphics, especially this intro sequence. Kind of hard to appreciate nowadays, I guess. We're sort of spoiled with the good graphics. Hey, 1997, when this original came out, this was banging. to appreciate nowadays, I guess. The sort of spoiled with graphics. Hey, 1997, when this original came out, this was banging. I don't know, I'd say this is probably at least my 20th time playing the game. I don't think I'll ever get sick of it. Let me know in the chat if, um, you know, the volume levels are a bit out of whack. Sexy he looks. Oh, by the way, this is the, I guess, the PS4 version of the game. So, um, yeah, the, the graphic, well, at least the polygons look crisp. Unfortunately, one of the, yeah, one of the disappointing things is they didn't really upscale the backgrounds. Um, so they look really, well, I guess, maybe they don't look as bad compared to the original, but um, because the polygons have been upgraded, as you can see with Cloud, it really makes the, it really makes, um, there's a real contrast there. But anyway, gonna make sure to pick up these two potions from the guards. You battle. I should really put the time speed up in the options. Sorry, BOL BB. He's in your account to play. Yeah, let's change the options. We got active, we'll make it active. Just to put the difficulty up a bit. Um, battle speed, sorry. Fast.
you know, a lot of people listen to different kinds of music. Um, and I know a lot of you guys listen to, I guess, you know, the producer's sound. Um, to be honest though, for me, like if I'm at the gym or if I'm walking somewhere, I, I like to listen to a lot of, you know, background music, OST. Particularly the Final Fantasy one. Oh, I oh, used to be a soldier, huh? Was it soldier to get? Hmm. Alright, guys, what should I call him? Cloud? Should I just stick to the. how the game was meant to be played, or should I. I don't know. What do you guys reckon? I think this is where he says something funny like uh, not just yet. This is it. Press the directional buttons while pressing circle to run. Oh actually, no. So I think in the PS4 version they fix a lot of grammar mistakes. Um so in the original game I think I think he says something grammatically incorrect. Uh, something along the lines of, the lines of uh, if you press circle in the directional battle uh, in the directional button to run, as in that was the, that was the center. Um, it was something funny like that. You guys have seen. Ooh. How come it's running automatically? Okay. I don't remember changing any of the settings. He seems to be running automatically now without me having to hold anything down. But, um, yeah, like I was saying, I'm not sure if any of you guys have seen. <laughs> And apologies for the profanity here, but um, there was a thread, I think, if it was 4chan or something, um, about Dick Tree. <laughs> uh, and basically, he put out a challenge to get to level 99 in this first area. Now, if you look at where I am now, I'm at level 7, yeah? And so each battle you're getting about 50 experience points. You accumulate a certain amount of experience points, you get to the next level. But here I've still got about 221 experience points to get before I get to level 8. Um, I think the challenge was you had to grind in this area and get to level 99. Um, and I'm pretty sure it took him at least maybe a few years. Oh, grinding. Um, not Dick Tree actually, it was someone else. So Dick Tree was the one who initially started the challenge. Um, but then he sort of started um, wavering on the challenge. And so someone else picked it up and I was able to um, 
was able to finish off the challenge. And I don't think he cheated at all. I think it was legitimately, you know, grinding, pressing X the whole time. He didn't have any sort of turbo button or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, <laughs> imagine that. Wavering on the challenge. And so someone else picked up and I was able to do on. Yep, first time in a reactor mate. I see that when I was really young, I was really confused as to what happened there. But basically, he's joined the party, um, and I think the reason I was confused was I started off with Final Fantasy VIII to begin with, um, but then I started, then I went back to this one. And I think in Final Fantasy VIII, you've got a caterpillar system where your party members follow you around, whereas here they sort of just disappear into the into the polygon. Oh yeah, and I was I think I was talking about background music before. Um yeah the reason I brought that up is this being one of my favorite games, um the music is something that really, you know, I guess has stuck with me throughout the years, so um yeah, I just love everything about this game to be honest. I'll try to keep it spoiler free as well. I'm assuming I'll be on the safe side. So if you haven't been following, basically Barrett is the head of Avalanche, which is sort of a... You can call them eco-terrorists. And Shinra, which is the power company, is sucking the lifeblood of the planet. So the planet has what's called Mako, which is sort of an energy source that um, they use it to produce electricity. But as you play the game, you realize that Marco is a bit more, I guess, has a more spiritual meaning to it. Um, and so, the fact that Shinra is sort of just burning it without realizing its importance to the planet, um, I, I guess that's that's their motivation. I do watch a few other streamers play the game, um, like 48 Productions. Um, he has a really awesome channel for Final Fantasy content, particularly Final Fantasy 7 content. I highly recommend watching that channel. Um, and look, when he plays the game, he sort of mimics what the guys are saying, but I'll probably save you from, from that in my stream.
So I have a debate with a few of my friends. Which of the Final Fantasy battle themes is the best? For me, I'm really biased. I, I'll always put MF7 on top. Um, close second. Um, close second is interesting. FF10 is really good. FF8 really good, FF9 really good, I and mean, they're all really good. And I'm just talking about the normal battle, not the boss battle thing. Um, oh, second, yeah, I don't know, like, FF10 is really good, FF. I'll go FF10 or FF7 first. FF10. Oh. If you haven't played an RPG before, make sure you save all the time. Oh, that's a pro tip. Um, so what was I saying? Yeah, battle themes. FF7 on top. Um, FF8. Sorry, FF10 second. Close one between FF9 and FF8. But I'd have to give the edge to FF9. Um. Oh, and you see that trick there? That's the back attack trick. So if you start a battle off with a back attack, um, if you quickly try to run, which is I think the one I want. You flip straight back, so that's how you get out of back attack. Okay. Probably play for about an hour. It's actually really early in the morning, so I'm not tomorrow, so. But, you know, thought I'd get this going. Like I said, it's been a long day. Nice to blow up some steam and blow up some reactors. No, this isn't just a reactor. Okay, that scene there has significance down the track and when I first played it I had no idea what it was about but for those that have played you'll know why that particular section was really important. Boss battle. Um, I'll be honest, the first time I battled the guard scorpion, I might have died. <laughs> and I'll show you I'll show you the reason why I died. So being a robot is susceptible to the bolt, which is a lightning element. Other than that, all you can do is really attack him with Barret. If Barret's got a limit, you can use that. Otherwise, Cloud just needs a damn bolt. Be careful. Look, it says attack while his tail's up. 
it's gonna counter attack with its laser. So initially I thought it said, I thought that was a direction by Cloud to attack while its tail was up. And so I kept attacking. And if you attack him while his tail is up, he'll he'll counter attack with um, with a laser. What the aim of the laser? But um, yeah, it deals a lot of damage. So I kept doing that. I thought I was following the instructions, but um, yeah, it, it ended up killing me the first time. I think I should be. Able to Better heal you up, mate. That's the first time you hear the fanfare thing. Ten minutes. Out of here. Proper streamer. Just a scary thought as well. Like being a synthwave channel, I thought, yeah, let's do some retro gaming as well. Hence why I chose to start with the original game. Oh, sorry, one of the reasons why I thought I'd start with the original game. And it's scary to think that a game like this is considered retro nowadays. I mean, if you think about it, it's more than 20 years old, so I guess it is retro. But normally when you say retro games, the 80s, right? But okay, so see, rookie error is you forget to pick up Jesse. Because for some reason, and they sort of show it a little better in the remake, but for some reason she gets her leg caught here for no apparent reason, but you know. not really bumping into many random encounters. I can't recall if maybe when I first played this game I really had issues with the 10 minute time limit but game's no problem here. I have a feeling it's just gonna be a 
some reason they didn't just decipher the codes. They had to wait for me to talk to them first. But anyway. When in my original playthrough I sort of because okay, so this is a limit break which is a special attack. And you can see it's pretty powerful. In the original, in my original playthrough, I sort of keep them for special enemies, but the way you level up your limits in this in this game is there's two levels. So the first level is um, you have to use the limit break a certain amount of times. I think it's like eight times. Uh, and then once you get to the next level, to level up again. See, Jesse keeps falling for some reason. Um, ooh. The way you level up your limits in this game is... There's two levels, so... Eco-terrorism at its finest. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. I think it's like eight times. And then once you get to the next level, to level up again. See, Jesse keeps falling for some reason. He's a mercenary. You gotta pay him. Like I was saying, to level up your limits, two levels. Well, there's four levels, but then there's two levels within each level. So in level one, there's two levels. First one is you need to use the first limit break eight times, and then after that, you need to kill a certain amount of enemies, and then it levels up to the next. Limit break. Should I be nice to this girl? Let's be nice. is huge, but there's only a little bit of text. I what that is on the wall over there, let's see. Don't be fooled by Shinra. Mako energy doesn't last forever. Mako, en Mako is the planet's life source, the end is the end. This is a planet. That's Barrett's Oops. Now see that sign on the top? It says Mount Colts. I think that's a reference to a place in FF Final Fantasy 6. 6, maybe 4. But yeah, Mount Colts is a place in one of the previous Final Fantasies. Button. Okay, let's level up.
Really up. Question for you guys out there, and I only ask this because I know a lot of you guys like what I like, um, and it's sort of a theme on my channel. Buster Sword or Guts's Dragon Slayer? What would you rather have? Accidentally disconnected. How is standing? Buddha has his own head. What a show off. Any goodies in here? Nah. No. I don't think. how Barrett had a look. Oh. 
the little details that I really like. I'll be nice in this playthrough. Now that's a mistake. Midgar, so it's a city above the ground. The top plate's more than 50 meters above the ground. If I keep clicking, if I click too fast, try not to, but I'll have it. Stuff, mate. See, that's more than fifty meters. Getting tired, guys. I'll find a safe point and call it a night. I'm sort of like this. I like to explore. 
given the mic to make this more than 20 times. Gotta be tougher. They really flesh that out in the ring. For about 38 minutes. Hopefully, the next one longer. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in, and we'll continue this stream um, some other time. Like I said, it's more of a casual playthrough, so I'm not really planning at certain times, so it might be whenever I get free time, I guess. But yeah, see you on the other side. Thank you for tuning in.